media coming out. It's always exciting to get to this day. That means we're creeping ever closer to uh, kicking off the season. As Phil said, we've been in freshman reported August the 8th, the upperclassmen on the 9th, and we started practice on the 10th and have been straight through without any days off um, up through today, which uh, today will be our first lengthy scrimmage. We've been doing some uh, scrimmaging in practice uh, throughout from the time we got in full pads, uh, doing uh, some periods in practice every day. So it's been a very physical preseason camp as we kind of planned. We wanted to get through these two and a half weeks um, as hard as we possibly could go. And then we have two weeks um, prior to the first game with, uh, with classes beginning, obviously, um, time constraints then uh, a lot different than preseason camp. But, uh, you know, as always, uh, it's exciting to get started. Hard to believe this is the 13th time already that I've uh, been standing up here. They say time flies when you're having fun, and we certainly uh, have been. Uh, last two seasons, maybe not as much fun as others, but great opportunity to be involved with a, a terrific group of young men. Um, you know, our senior group, as you can see, uh, probably the smallest senior group that we've uh, had uh, since we took over. Um, that being said, I think it's as strong a group leadership-wise as we've had um, since I've been here, um, headed up by our, our three captains, uh, just doing a terrific job, Andrew Shue, Darius Saffron, and, and Rick Lister, um, you know, bringing this team together and, and demonstrating a, a tremendous work ethic. If you're out of practice, uh, you see more and more guys doing things in their own after practice, and I got I to gotta credit Rick Lister with all that because he's brought uh, an example like none other than, than we've ever had in terms of uh, putting in extra time and extra work and, and, and trying to get to peak performance. I think a lot of our players uh, look up to him. Uh, you'd always see Rick with a whole gallon plastic jug of water. Now I see practically the whole team walking around carrying water, which we encourage, obviously, uh, particularly during preseason camp with hydration and several practices a day. Plus. We haven't missed a day of weight training either. We're, we're lifting every other day. So our, thanks to Coach Potts, our strength and conditioning staff, um, we feel that we actually maintain strength, if not actually some guys getting stronger during preseason uh, rather than the other way around. So um, I feel pretty good about you know where that's at. You know about the team. Um, you know start on defense. Um, I think our defensive line. Um, Again, everything's potential until we prove it on the field, but I think it's as good of a front four uh, as we've put out there as a group in, in, in quite some time. Uh, real strong group there. Same thing in the secondary. Uh, we've got some depth at corner and safety, uh, which we haven't had, and, and, and some outstanding talent. And then our linebacking core, probably uh, the most watched position because, you know, at least defensively, the, the least experienced group, but a group that has had some playing time uh, and is, I think having an excellent camp at this point, a lot better than maybe I would have thought, uh, which is very encouraging for a group to, you know, wait to get some game time. But uh, I think you're going to see some, some outstanding play uh, at the linebacker spot as well. Um, offensively, um, it's always uh, a work in progress to piece the old line together and, and get a uh, working group that and it takes the most time. You know, that's why defenses are always ahead of offenses um, and should be that way. I'd be real nervous if we were just out there you know, dominating our defense. That's not a great sign, a great way to start out, and that certainly hasn't happened. Our defense uh, playing exceptional. Our offense, uh, you know, have had some tough days out there, but they're getting better every day. They're getting tougher every day, and that group's coming together um, pretty nicely at this group. Uh, they've got some experienced guys up there. We've got a couple guys, you know, getting their first chance, uh, particularly at the right tackle spot. Uh, tight end position um, should be strong. Brandon Hall played a good bit for us, um, you know, last year. And, and Morgan Donahue just got to keep those two guys, uh, keep those two guys healthy. Uh, receiving core, obviously, uh, led by you know Mark Ross, an all-league player a year ago but got a lot of depth there and a lot of athletic talent that you're going to see running around. Um, the backfield, you know, again, we've got pretty good depth there. We got five guys that I think we can, you know, we can really count on. We got two experienced fullbacks and we have a quarterback for the first time now. And this will be three seasons. You have a quarterback coming in. that has got 11 games under his belt and playing with a lot of confidence and, uh, you know, not putting any pressure on Andrew, but you know, we all watch football and, 
your team's only as good as the guy at the trigger position, and we feel that we've got the best one in the league. So I, won't, I know Andrew won't get a swelled head by that or anything, and he knows that the pressure's on him, and he'll still have Coach Fine ripping his butt every day. So he, we won't let him get – but he's, he's having the kind of preseason that you would expect from a young man that has that kind of experience and has waited his time and, and uh, you know, is ready to go. But I think this senior group um, – they want to leave the program as they found it. They arrived here to a winning championship program, and, and certainly we've had our tough times since then. And that certainly all part of part of the game, the ups and downs, and those things. And you know, I was at the Patriot League media day, and you know, we actually were probably ranked uh, one head of spot of where I would have thought we would have been. Um, so it's kind of deja vu in some sense. We've been here, we've been down this road before. Somebody said, "Well, you really enjoy that." You know, being at the bottom and being the underdog. And let me tell you something, I don't enjoy any of that. <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. We enjoy going out and giving it our best shot. We like the fact that nobody's looking at us and expecting anything. Uh, but they're going to find that there's a little bit more to this group, I believe, um, than people think. And, and certainly we've got we've to go out and prove that on, uh, on Saturday afternoon. And it starts down at William & Mary. So uh, as we've been doing and has been our practice, um, you know, opening up with cupcake football games is not my idea of getting ready for the season. You know, we're taking ourselves to the challenge. This is a uh, good football program, plays in one of the best leagues in the country, if not one of the best leagues in football in the CAA. Um, and even though they're ranked kind of down, that entire conference will send four teams to the FCS playoff year in and year out. So we know what we're getting into when we sign up for these things. Um, they've got a little date with the University of Maryland, so That'll be their warm up, getting ready for the leopards. You know, have to you know, you to take on the turtles, and then they got to get ready for the leopards. So, I'd rather fight a turtle than a, than a terrapin anyway. So, um, certainly, it'd be fun looking at that film uh, if uh, we, we have some access through television um, to be able to get get somewhat of a feel. But they'll have a game under their belt and a and a big game. But uh, I think there'll be a huge crowd down there. They they usually sell their stadium out. It's their opening game. It's a seven o'clock night game. Um, but uh, playing down below the Mason Dixon at this time of the year is always a little warm. That's why we've been doing our three hour practices in the middle of the afternoon to acclimate, um, acclimate to the heat. We've looked at them some, certainly. We certainly have an idea. We'll start in a few days really zeroing in in game preparation um, you know, for that game. And that's the only game on my calendar right now. I have to look at the schedule to see who's next after that. But right now, it's all about William and Mary and, and getting to that point. Uh, today's scrimmage, we're just hoping to get a lot of situational things done. Um, that'd be some game type situation, but there'll be some other uh, special situations that we'll do. We'll do some special teams uh, to get some work there. Some guys you won't see, we're holding people out. Nothing serious. Uh, you know, Ross Sherman's got a bruised shoulder and certainly could go today. but. Like think that it's not necessary to do, and we got a, quite a few people like that. You won't see them much during the game. They're going to be inside in the weight room, getting some work done, and uh, instead of standing around uh, being cheerleaders, we want to get some work done and some rehab done and, and then those things. So um, we hope to play majority of the day scrimmage with guys that are going to be, um, you know, playing in the games. At least what we think at this point. There'll be another scrimmage in another week or so, about a week, where we'll use mostly. Uh, the guys that are going to prepare to be immediate backups. And as I say every year, the season always hinges upon the, immediate, the backups because they're, they're going to end up being the guys down the stretch, as you guys know, uh, that you're going to have to depend on because injuries are a part of this game. And uh, it's the next man in concept, and you got to be ready to go. And, and you're only as good, I think, as, as those guys that are backing up the starters and you know, pushing every day in practice and preparing themselves, uh, preparing themselves to play.